Namaste friends. Welcome to Learn with Chain Powered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a special type of crochet hook which has got an eye at the end, at one end. It has got the hook head and eye on the other end and this has got a special purpose and this is known as Nook. K-N-O-O-K. Nook. This name is derived from knit and hook. So using the crochet hook we can make the knitting stitches. So let us go about making the knitting stitches using this nook. To, to use this nook we need to have a yarn, a loose yarn which we need to thread it, thread the nook. So let me take one single strand so that it is longer. Yeah. Now pick up the yarn that you are going to use. Make the required number of chains. I have made 12 chains here. So I have already have one chain on my hook. Pick up from the back uh, bump of each of the stitches, each of the chains. 2, 3, 4, 5. We are picking up loops as we work for the tunation. one more I'll take this becomes the 12th when you're working over the nook if you want 12 stitches you take 12 chains as the beginning number of chains foundation chains now all you have to do is slide all the stitches onto the threaded yarn turn your work I am going to show a very simple stitch in this wherein you will be working and picking up the yarn, working yarn, we are working from right to left. There are different ways of mark, working for different stitches. This is the most basic one I am going to show you here in this very first video. So insert your hook from right to left. Let us have this yarn behind, pick up a loop. So similarly pick up a loop from each of the stitches over here instead of two knitting needles you can use this crochet hook with the eye at one hand to do your knitting projects. Now all you have to do is pull this yarn away out, turn your work, slide all the stitches onto the yarn that is the tail yarn. Again we are going to work only the purl stitch. So holding the stitches, pull out this, 
turn your work slide all the stitches onto the yarn that is a tail yarn start working Holding, pull up, turn your work, slide all the stitches on. So I shall show you one more and then I shall make a few more rows and, I, and I'm going to make a headband out of it, a small headband. You can also make a wristband. You can make a neck band, what not. And you can make a scarf also. The only thing you need to take more number of stitches or the stitches that are required for the width of the scarf. And this grows faster than your normal knitting. Turn your work. So I think you can see the pattern of the stitches that is developing into. This is how it develops. So continue for a few more uh, rows. I shall also continue, complete and get back. So I have repeated a few more rows and this is how the pattern develops into. It's the garter stitch because we have purled every row. So it's reversible. And you can work to the desired length that you like and to wind off what we do is the normal crochet way pick up Just slip stitch so I just showed you a small sample so this can be made to any width and any length that we like and made into any project And all you need to do now is to pull this out. Here we go. So the garter stitch using a crochet hook. Thank you friends for viewing this small effort of ours. Hope you liked it. Do subscribe to our channel if you happen to be the first time you are and you've not yet subscribed. Do like and share our videos. Do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload on and off. Thank you once again. Have a great day. Bye for now.